styling neutrals for autumn, effortless style tips and outfit ideas. Hi everyone, in today's video, I'm going to be sharing all my favorite style tips that I reach for when creating neutral outfit ideas in autumn. I like my outfits to feel really timeless, elegant, minimal, and I like a sprinkle of a trend here and there. But overall, it's that effortless style that is definitely my favorite way to dress. So if you, like me, like your neutral outfits very chic, minimal, but with an up-to-date edge, this video should help. Now I got a bit carried away with my styling in this particular video, so I think I have about 19 different outfit ideas to share. So hopefully you're ready for a whole lot of inspiration. Also, a portion of this video has very kindly been sponsored by Ritual, the clean, simple, and backed by science multivitamin company who I have integrated into my daily routine. But I should tell you more about that a little bit later in this video. But first, let's get over to some neutral outfit ideas and don't forget to let me know your favorite. Don't worry if your neutrals don't match. In fact, I actually think it works best when they don't. When styling neutral outfit ideas, the joy is really in the different textures. Decide on a shade you're wanting to go with or a certain piece that you'd really like to wear and look through your wardrobe for any items within that color palette. Take this outfit idea for example. I started with a base of my lovely chocolate brown skirt and I added a simple crew neck top. Now alone this could look a little bit boring and I'm not really doing myself any favors with the current silhouette. So first I added a tan belt to really accentuate my waist and draw the eye to that area. Then just casually tuck in your top but don't make it all too prim and very perfect. You want to keep that really effortless vibe about it. The key for me with this belt was to have that center buckle on show so that the eye has somewhere to focus on. Then I paired it with a camel blazer. Do love that length of blazers with mini skirts. Just change Changes up the proportions and of course adds a touch of elegance to the look. Chunky knee high boots would absolutely work with this outfit if you like that style. I would just make sure that your ankle is fairly tight and not too baggy to really help elongate your shape. This is a perfect look for work that feels really elevated and polished with a whole collection of gorgeous neutral or autumnal tones. But of course practicality comes calling and it's a little bit cold to wear just a blazer heading into the office. So I would then layer my camel coat or really any any other brown or dark beige coat that you have in your wardrobe over the top. The longer length of the coat will help really elongate your shape no matter what you're wearing underneath. Note how even though I'm actually wearing five different shades of brown here, none of which actually match at all, but the overall combination really works together to make one cohesive neutral look. Quick style tip. When going with a light neutral look, think about finishing with a pop of red lipstick or maybe a bright and bold accessory. It's an easy trick to make a tonal look feel more interesting and intentional. Layer to your heart's content. Layering is really the perfect style tip to reach for when creating neutral outfit ideas in autumn winter because it just enables you to not only wear some of your favorite pieces that might not exactly be weather appropriate, but it also gives an outfit more depth and interest, which is especially important when styling neutrals. Though subtle, it helps to make your outfits really stand out. Now, if you're new to creating neutral outfit ideas, or maybe you're worried about how to put them together, try using a favorite pair of denim jeans as your base and start from there. So my easy starting point here is a tank top and one of my favorite pairs of high-waisted jeans. Now I've chosen a v-shaped cardigan for the same reason, mixing up the shapes to keep forcing the eye to the smallest part of my body. The belt at my waist just accentuates that even further. Then staying within that neutral palette of blues and grays, I've then layered over the top with my three-quarter length navy coat and finished with one beautiful but contrasting gray skirt. Off. Note again that it's a concoction of different tones along a similar train of thought, but they all blend together and feel really intentional. When layering, it's really important not to forget about where you want to draw the eye by the end of it all. You don't want your layering looks to make you feel really swamped in clothes. So having those focal points like the skinny ankle or a front tuck or maybe your belt can really help these outfit ideas feel more considered. Quick style tip. When shopping jeans, try and keep an eye out where the pockets are placed, especially at the back of them. If they're too far apart, they have a habit of making your bottom look bigger than it actually is. So I tend to look for pairs where the pockets are just a little bit closer together. 
So like I mentioned at the start of this video, this portion has very kindly been sponsored by Ritual. They are an independent vitamin brand created by a woman who quite simply was fed up with her products having so many nasty ingredients in them. So in her quest to find clean alternatives, she decided to launch her own brand instead. The result is Ritual, a brand that's reimagined the multivitamin and made it traceable, transparent, with no unnecessary ingredients, no GMOs, vegan friendly, and fully backed by science. Now you might have seen last week's video where I shared my recent drive to get more fit and healthy. And really the missing piece in that puzzle, so to speak, was that I did need to start taking some kind of vitamins. So firstly, I chose the Essential for Women 18 Plus Multivitamin. Now these are designed for a combination of brain and bone health, along with blood building and antioxidant support. Vitamins containing nine high quality nutrients like D3 to omega-3 that are pretty hard to get enough of in a normal healthy diet sounds like a very good idea to me. The second tablet I'm now taking daily is the Symbiotic Plus, something I think I particularly needed. Now this has been created for daily gut health and it's so handy that it's got everything you need in just one tablet. These can help control bloating, good bacteria and support my immune system at the same time. And to be honest, I just wish I'd heard about these years ago. Last but not least, I ordered the essential protein powder to make into a daily shake. Now this is a clean and traceable plant-based protein to help form lean muscle and support my muscles after all that exercise. Definitely something I think will come in handy after all of those sit-ups I've been putting myself through. I am very impressed with the products from Ritual and excited to start seeing the benefits from taking these daily. I love how clean and simple the brand is. There's no fuss, it's no fads, just straight to the point, giving us exactly what we need. But don't just take my word for it. I have added a link to their website in the description box below plus a discount code giving you 20% off. So please do take a look at their website at the end of this video and read all about their products for yourself. One item that's just arrived and is perfect for styling neutrals this autumn would be this real leather midi skirt in this lovely shade of taupe. I did a bit of a mini haul on Insta the other day, and I'm also sharing another way you can style it today actually. So I shall link both of those for you to watch after this. But when I spotted this shape in that soft tone, I just had to add it to basket. Having talked about textures earlier, using leather like this is a really great way of getting a good mixture into your outfit ideas. And aside from feeling particularly on trend now, like a lot of leather pieces, they never really go out of fashion. One of the quickest and easiest ways to add interest to any outfit, but especially a neutral one, is with a pop of colour. Take this outfit idea for example. I decided on a palette of grey styling with my wide leg pleated trousers and then I've added a simple crew neck on my top. I've gone with my big round black belt to give the eye somewhere to focus on and overall it's just a pretty staple look for me. Sometimes I just want to keep it quite simple and very timeless and tonal, so I'd finish with a similar toned draping winter coat. Now this one has a beautiful shape and it's so cozy I don't think I'd even need to add a scarf in the height of winter. But I guess this look is playing it safe somewhat and though I love it, it is a little bit predictable. When recreating neutral looks like this yourself, have a try layering in a pop of colour. Now sometimes it works and sometimes it really doesn't, but when you happen upon that perfect combination, you'll find it an outfit that's like a gem that you can always rely on. So here I decided upon my bottle green blazer. It's still a pretty earthy tone, but it really lifts the grey from feeling quite flat and it makes it look even more luxurious. To help keep the eyeline focusing on my waist, I've pulled up the sleeves of that blazer and I like to see that jumper popping out from underneath. It just sinks the look together again for me. For petite women watching this thinking, yep, that's all great, Jessica, but I can't wear wide leg trousers, you absolutely can. And balance out your body with the one third, two thirds rule. So for instance, my trousers are taking up two thirds of my outfit idea and my top half is the one third. Then having the green blazer, it's drawing the eye upwards and I would just advise anyone petite to wear quite a tighter fitting top underneath a bigger blazer to just help balance out your shape. Quick style tip. Though initially an investment piece, these trousers have proved their weight in gold for the amount of times I've styled them. But for a chic for less alternative, the next pair of trousers are a great copy. 
prints and patterns. Neutrals don't have to be plain. I've seen lots of really nice neutral prints on the high street recently that would be perfect for an easy, everyday kind of look, as much as they would for the office as well. These herringbone trousers, for instance, which are a very good copy of my Frankie Shop ones that I showed you in the last look, introduce more tone and texture into this neutral outfit idea. Note how the plainer top really makes that herringbone stand out even more. Now I've gone for chunkier ankle boots this time to really balance out the volume of those particular pair of trousers. Chunky loafers would work great too, or perhaps on casual days, I think the contrast of trainers and then something really polished makes a lovely contrast together. Here I've styled in my oversized accrued blazer to finish. And it takes the look in a different direction while still feeling very classy and chic. The sunnies add a little bit of a dramatic finish and are especially handy when I'm trying to hide my very tired eyes. Olive. Olive is a really great neutral to integrate into your outfit ideas. And it has that deep earthy vibe that feels really sumptuous for autumn. Start with black, it obviously makes the tone stand out even more, as black always does. But it also looks great with greys, navies and camel. Now when the weather allows, I would opt for a casual, effortless style, something a bit like this. Simply adding a favourite cardi and tying it in a knot at the waist. I've tied in that tone by adding my tan ankle boots and along a similar train of thought with my Palem Paris numero set handbag. Flared trousers just in themselves can be so very lengthening and then keeping all the action so to speak on my top half forces the eye to be drawn to that area. Then I opted for another texture with my suede brown biker jacket. I personally really love this combination. It's very much an everyday look obviously but with a hint of that effortless bohemian style which I always find myself gravitating to. Shop your wardrobe. Now, like we touched on before, I would really advise you spend a little bit of time looking at the pieces you already have in your wardrobe before you buy anything new. We all have that habit of forgetting what's hidden in the depths of our closet. And I hazard a guess there is a gem or two which would absolutely work this particular season. Now, when styling neutral outfit ideas, I find it really helpful to get all my neutrals together on a rail, even those ones that have been hiding out in the attic for the last couple of years. That way you can really see what you have, work out the best combinations and donate or sell the items you think you've had your time with. Black outfit ideas. When wearing black outfit ideas, I tend to think about textures more than ever before to stop the outfit from falling flat. So here, for instance, would be a typical out-out look for me. I want to feel elevated and a tiny bit sexy, but I want to do it in a really understated and effortless kind of style. So I really consider the contrast of shapes and the texture of the pieces that I'm going to add into my outfit. And then I finished with another silhouette with my three-quarter length coat. Again, in black, but this one has been made from wool. And with that trim of faux leather, it just adds another element into the look. All black looks are obviously really flat but I just advise adding depth and interest with as many different textures as you can manage. Stripe lovers. Who said you couldn't pair stripes with your neutral outfit ideas? Certainly not me, as it's one of my absolute favourite go-to looks. It's a little bit Parisian, a little bit classic, and so incredibly versatile as you're about to see. I started off with probably the most timeless version of this particular look, pairing my winter white jeans with my Breton top. I added a camel blazer to mix up the lengths and really just ground the look, and then my light camel clutch and super affordable Chanel dupes to finish. It's a very classic, never fails, kind of neutral outfit idea. Change it up a little by adding in another tone and texture with a big blanket scarf. Now scarves are such a handy accessory for really changing up your looks with ease and it can be really cost effective too. Quick style tip. But before you go out and shop the one that I have, note that this outfit idea could equally carry a navy one, one in black, crew or maybe camel. Essentially a tone that you've probably already got in your wardrobe. Next I went off on a little bit of a tangent and changed it up with my oversized herringbone coat. Now obviously black ankle boots would work with this particular look but a surprising colour combination like this can actually really make an outfit. The accents of tan really stand out against the muted neutrals and it helps to give the outfit more interest. And finally I went back to my camel obsession and I finished with a layer of deep caramel wool. This is autumn in an outfit and hopefully another good example of how stripes can be integrated with ease into your own new neutral outfit ideas.
I feel like I have talked an awful lot today, but I do feel so very passionate about the joy of neutral outfits. So hopefully that's really coming across. As you've seen, they're always far more versatile than you first think. And with a few simple style tips and considering your fabric choices very carefully, you can really create some key looks that will last you season after season. I really hope you've enjoyed seeing how I will be styling neutral outfit ideas this autumn and the many different effortless style outfits you could create. And a big thank you again to Ritual for supporting this video. Don't forget to take a look at their full collection of multivitamins for yourself. You can find that link along with the discount code in the description box below. I'm looking forward to hearing from you all in the comments section below. Have a wonderful week, everyone. I will see you on Sunday.